University of the Pacific partnered with San Joaquin County Public Health Services to offer COVID-19 vaccine clinics on the Stockton campus. The Operation Immunization Healthcare Outreach Committee has been leading these efforts. The commitment of doctor or pharmacy students to organize and host the clinics has been key to its success. My name is Carissa Learn. I'm a first year pharmacy student and I'm the OI co-chair. When I heard that OI was going to lead the charge to vaccinate UOP, I was quite overwhelmed because it seemed like a great challenge for me. Um, I didn't think as a first year pharmacy student that I would be able to plan such a big event, a big clinic to help vaccinate not only the Pacific family, but also the San Joaquin community as well. But through the mentorship of Dr. Bandy and through the mentorship of my P2 co-chairs, to learn so much about planning a whole clinic, how to have patient interactions, and how to communicate with other people in my profession, like PA students, dentists, and nurses. So this has been an excellent opportunity to showcase Pacific's pride. You can tell through, as you can see here behind me, that this is a multi-campus event. We have not only Stockton campus, students and faculty here, but also the McGeorge or the Sacramento campus as we now know it as faculty and students here. We have multi-programs, not only our clinical programs are here, but we also have faculty and staff from basic science as well as from the main campus. So you can see it takes a village and it takes the Pacific Tiger Pride in order to help end the pandemic. So participating in vaccination clinics really helps students uh, mature in their role as vaccinators and helps them to become even stronger pharmacists for the future. Not only do they learn how to screen a patient to make sure that they are eligible to receive the vaccine, they learn about the monitoring process and how people's disease states or previous allergies affect them. They also learn the vaccination itself and the technique required for that, but there's also leadership skills. So things like how to manage the volunteers, how to manage traffic flow, how to make sure that you have enough vaccine supply and the paperwork and all the legal requirements. It's not just about the one shot in that two seconds or three seconds of time frame. It's about the whole entire process and remembering that the patient is the center of the whole process. What has made me most hopeful is watching the students grow through this process watching them become even stronger leaders than they already were. Uh, what makes me most proud is knowing how they have embraced online learning through the curriculum, how they have embraced added expectations, and having coming forward and working with their fellow colleagues across all the disciplines in order to help the community. Pharmacists serve as the medication experts on healthcare teams. So during a pandemic, pharmacists play a number of very important roles. One obvious area is that they may serve as experts related to medications that are used to treat COVID, as well as the complications that could arise because of it. In addition, it's important to remember that pharmacists also have a really important role in chronic disease state management. And so this is in terms of trying to help people manage things like heart disease, diabetes, cancer. And this is very important because we want to minimize complications happening and eliminate and reduce um, the, the chances that individuals will end up in the hospital unnecessarily. Pharmacists also are immunizers. And so during normal times, we know that pharmacists give flu shots, shingles vaccines, and during the pandemic, Pharmacists have played very important and critical leading roles in terms of organizing as well as staffing COVID vaccination clinics. All of our students in the Doctor of Pharmacy program hold intern licenses as well as a national recognized certification that allows them to immunize the public, the same certification that licensed pharmacists have. So what this means during times like the pandemic is all 600 of our Doctor of Pharmacy students from the Thomas J. Long School of Pharmacy are scattered throughout the state of California and they are able to contribute to the vaccination effort to help keep our communities safe and healthy. During the pandemic, pharmacists were invaluable. 
Therapy was changing every single day. There was always a new preprint study on the internet, a new news release, and physicians would call us the next day and want to know how are we going to put this into our protocols to take care of our patients. So pharmacists were intimately involved in the safe and effective use of new and experimental therapies during the COVID pandemic. Uh, I think this experience helped shape future pharmacists because especially during these times in COVID, students aren't able to get that student-patient interaction through this clinic. We're able to provide students with this opportunity not only to um, interact with patients but also to their faculty and classmates as well.